Good morning. Today's session is Responsibility Accounting. Responsibility Accounting is simply known as it's a system of control in which you are responsible for certain activities. That's known as Responsibility Accounting. So it's a system of control where the responsibility has been assigned for controlling the costs, so maximizing the revenue, maximizing the profit, or maximizing the return on investment. So these are the four key areas coming under the responsibility accounting. The first one is known as controlling the cost. Second one is maximizing the revenue. Third one is maximizing the profit. And fourth one is maximizing the return on investment. For doing all this, the proper authority must be given to certain persons who are responsible for doing up their performance. There may be certain responsible persons in each and every department. These persons are responsi responsible for keeping up their performances in their department. So the authority must be given to those persons for taking the appropriate actions. That is known as responsibility accounting. So basically there are three objectives behind the responsibility accounting. The first and most important objective of responsibility accounting is known as it helps in taking the decisions at the right time. Say for example, in a production department, the production manager is responsible for controlling the costs. Then production manager can acquire the raw materials at the right time from the right supplier. And they can reduce the cost very easily. At the same time, the production department can reduce the waste stages by way of taking the appropriate actions. So likewise, the production manager can take a lot of decisions to reduce the costs. That's one of the most important advantage of responsibility accounting. It helps in taking the decisions at the right time. Then the second important objective of the responsibility accounting is known as it helps in evaluating the performance. Say for example, in an organization there are three departments, Department A, Department B and Department C. So all these departments are giving a target of reducing the cost by 50 lakh or 55 lakh rupees. And one department was not able to control the cost by 55 lakh rupees, then that department's performance is weak. So you can evaluate the performance of that department as compared to other departments. That is another advantage of responsibility accounting. It helps in evaluating the performance of the departments. And third objective behind the responsibility accounting is known as management by exception principle that you studied in principles of management. What is that? Focus on the exceptional things. If there are certain exceptional things are occurring in the organizations, identify that and take the necessary steps to improve the performance that is known as management by exception. Say for example, research and development department is spending huge amount of money on R&D and but they are not able to introduce a new product in the market line in the product line of this company so then we can say that you know this department is not doing the things in an efficient way so you can focus on this particular concept that is known as management by exception principle so these are the three key objectives of responsibility accounting so there will be a person who is responsible in each and every department for all these activities that manager is known as responsible manager so there are different centers that taken place in this responsibility accounting concept the first center is known as cost center what is the cost center as you all know that there are different types of centers one is cost center it's a subunit of the organization subunit of the organization has control over the cost and it has no control over the revenue, it has no control over the investment, it has complete control over the cost alone. So this sender's performance has been measured in terms of the amount of input that consumed by that department in that particular organization. Example, there are three departments. One is maintenance department, second one is engineering department and third one is production department. You take uh, these three departments, how we can measure the efficiency of this department? Only through one concept, how much amount of input or how much amount of money that you spent on the last month on various expenditures 
and take a evaluation on that and which department is controlling the cost very efficiently that center is known as the best cost center this is the concept of cost center cost center mainly focused on how the centers can reduce and control the cost very efficiently and effectively that's the first center concept and second center concept is known as revenue center this center mainly focused on maximizing the revenues so revenue centers responsibility is to acquire the finished goods and the responsible for distributing these finished products to the customers so this center is mainly responsible for fixing an appropriate price and distribute these products to the customers and customers should buy the products and the revenue must must maximize in this particular department or department or whatever center whatever you think you know that center should be able to maximize the revenue that's the focus of this center revenue center concept example pharmaceutical company has got you know different areas of operations southern area northern area eastern area and western area so four areas of operations are there and all these areas of operations performance can be evaluated on the basis of revenues revenue generated by these areas and which area has been generated maximum revenue that is known as the best revenue center this is the second center concept in responsibility accounting revenue center and third one is known as profit center what is profit center it has control over the cost as well as revenue it's focusing on both things what is profit profit is nothing but the difference between revenue and cost so the managers can take decisions on the basis of cost aspect how we can reduce the cost and managers can take decisions uh, on maximizing the revenue by fixing an appropriate selling price for the product so he has got complete control over this things fixing the price reducing the cost maximizing the revenue improving the distribution efficiency everything all these decisions will be taken by the profit center heads and their performance has been evaluated on the basis of profit example there are a lot of organizations are you know running on the basis of depot concept so each and every depot has got the complete authority and responsibility on controlling the cost as well as maximizing the revenue so such centers are known as profit center concept and profit centers performance are evaluated on the basis of contribution profit after tax profit before tax etc etc and the last center is known as investment center these are the centers responsible for revenue cost as well as for the investments as well as for the investment investment is uh, actually it should be more at the same time the revenue should be maximum and the cost should be minimum that's the concept of investment center and investment center must be able to maximize the return on investment what is return on investment revenue minus cost divided by investment is known as return on investment that is the focus of investment center especially one example we can take for that you know the coca cola coca cola is running their business through different subsidiaries they have got a parent company as well as subsidiary unit and subsidiary unit is getting the power for investment as well as for maximizing the revenue for reducing the cost all the power was with that subsidiary unit so the subsidiary unit's performance are evaluated on the basis of this particular variable that is known as return on investment and which subsidiary unit has got maximum roi that's the best investment center so that is the fourth center so these are the four centers what are the four centers cost center revenue center profit center and investment center thank you